A boy was born in tiny city of Rajasthan known as Jalawar, completed his graduation in Hindi medium, then had to adopt English medium and finished master's degree in physics from Udaipur. Very calm and quiet, but full of determination and zeal. One gold medal from Sukhadiya University Udaipur as topper, made a mark by getting selected for PhD degree at Isro Ahmedabad. And the journey of innovation of Gufran Beg began to unveil. Dr. Gufran Beg joined Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology, Pune, in the year of 1996. With his joining at IITM Pune, a new research venture was established. At one end, the research related to ozone was shaping up. He continued to work on one of his other keen interests, which was related to upper atmosphere. Needless to say, his paper garnered the global attention and was praised on various scientific platforms and backed the prestigious World Meteorological Organization Norbert Gurbier's MUM International Award in 2005. Year 2006 was the turning point in Dr. Bake's career when his contribution to science was recognized at highest possible level in India. He received the prestigious Chandi Swarup Bhatnagar Award for his contribution to atmospheric science in India. He was the first recipient of this award from IITM. It was the turning point in the history of India that an atmospheric chemist was recognized for his immense contribution. His work by now had started getting recognition on national scale and paved the road for the fact that more and more students getting inspired to take atmospheric science as a career. In the year 2007, he mentioned, we do not have many dedicated and structured degree programs for atmospheric science in India and there's going to be a huge requirement for climate scientists in years to come. He was awarded Maharana Uday Singh National Award in 2007 for his immense contribution and mentorship in atmospheric sciences. When Commonwealth Games were proposed to be hosted in Delhi in the year of 2010, air quality of Delhi was major concern. It was during this time that air pollution was seen as an important problem. There was a need to forecast pollution for better understanding of problem we are facing today as well as tomorrow. A pollution forecasting system was developed and deployed during Commonwealth Games in Delhi 2010. With this, another milestone was achieved for atmospheric chemistry and air pollution in India. A dedicated and advanced portal combining the data from network of pollution monitoring stations with chemistry climate model was used for forecasting the pollution over Delhi. It was named as System of Air Quality and Weather Forecasting and Research, SUFFER as it is fondly known. Bendis progress in atmospheric science in India is combined and dedicated efforts of various organizations and well-known researchers and teachers. Atmospheric science and air pollution related studies today would not have been possible without the hard work, determination and vision of various well-known names in India. Dr. Baig stands out as one of the most prominent names to take atmospheric research to next level in India. He has published more than 250 top quality peer review research papers with more than 5,500 citations. Books related to ozone and climate change delivered various invited talks at national as well as international level. He also chaired various national and international committees which were at forefront tackling the climate change issues across the globe. And the legacy is being carried forward by various reputed institutions and scientists across the country. Immediately after his superannuation, Professor Beg has been offered coveted Sir Ashutosh Mukherjee Chair Professor at NIAS in Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. He has now involved in policy research in environment and climate change for Niti Aayog and government and nurturing young minds in this area which has immense potential for the time to come.